Bravely Bob here again. So check this out. Okay, so Blue Eddie released today. Um, well, actually, it's going to be available starting November 17th, which is tomorrow. But it's 10 o'clock at night. So in about, I think, two or three hours, I think this is going to be available. Guys, this is one I didn't even see. So uh, Blue Eddie AC200L. Long to power, land to conquer. Okay, so I'm going to check this out. So we, we all remember the uh, AC200 and the AC200 Max. Well, Blue Eddy has done it again. They released another one, the AC200L. So this is going to be the first look that I've seen. I just popped on their website, on their live stream, and they were talking about it. And I was like, wait, what? I missed another one? So I'm going to take a look at it, and I'm going to see what it all has and if I like it. All right, let's get right to the, uh, let's get to the getting. Subscribe now to save up to a thousand bucks. Okay, uh, here we go. So a uh, home backup and RV trips, uh, max up to eight thousand one hundred and ninety-two watt hours. Okay, so that's great. So you still have the great power of the AC two hundred max, which is eight kilowatts of power, uh, eight, eight kilowatt uh, hours of power. Uh, but that's hard to say. Eight kilowatts, uh, eight kilowatt hours of power. Um, 99% of all devices you can have. Holy crap, Zilla, look at that. 1,200 watts of solar input and 2,400 watts of AC input. Wow, that's getting into big numbers, guys, for a little power station like that. That's pulling in some serious wattage here. Uh, six ways to charge. You got 3,000 charge cycles. I noticed that this has dropped. This used to say, uh, uh, always uh, used to be like 3,500 cycles, but probably because they have so much going on now, it's a little harder on the battery cells. 10 year lifespan, that's about normal. Uh, and that's if you use it every day for 10 years, guys. I mean, if you cycle it every day for 10 years. We cycle ours every single day at least once. So we really use them. You got the smart app control as always and UPS. That's awesome. It says switch over in 20 milliseconds. So 20 milliseconds is fast enough for all your important uh, items. That's uh, probably the industry standard of what I've seen. So that's normal. Uh, so far it's looking pretty good. It looks like a fancy version of the AC200 Max. All right, so let's see, a powerful leap and a new benchmark. The brand new AC200L leads the pack with groundbreaking improvements in charging speed, output power, quiet operation, and energy efficiency. It provides for, uh, I'm sorry, it provides an all-in-one solution to meet your daily electricity needs. Guys, th th this, is a, this is a pretty nice little box here so far. So you got 2,048 watt hours inside the box right off the bat in the main unit. And uh, let's see here, you got, uh, I noticed the screen here and the DC, uh, a, uh, USB and AC buttons for turning it on is like the new AC2A that I just received. Uh, so it has that newer uh, buttons and display. I, I like that better than the old display. The old display wasn't bad. I just, I really like this one, the way it turns on, it's all fancy looking. Um, here you got four AC outlets. This looks like an RV plug. We have to wait till we get down there. Pure sine wave as always, guys. Blue Eddie has always been good about that. Uh, here we got uh, some DC outputs over here. And then these, a little hard to read, so I have to wait to get down to more pictures. Um, oh, here you go. 2.4x charging speed. So that's the AC input. Okay, so it looks like a special cable that they have for uh, AC charging. Guys, that's really a lot. Holy cow. Uh, 2,400 watts AC charging. That is big. That's really big. Uh, lower noise level. So they probably have a newer, uh, maybe a better quality fan in there, obviously, to drop the noise. Or better heat control of the system in general. Um, let's see here. You got 1.6 the output power. So, oh, that, yep, that, I bet you that's an RV plug sitting right there. That's probably a 48 volt plug right there, uh, which is very nice to see. Uh, um, no, wait, that's AC out. Oh, boy. Well, I can't wait to get to the specs then. Holy cow. That can't be 48 volts. That's got to be, I wonder if that's a 240. Boy, I can't wait. Or, you know what? It's probably a TT. Uh, for uh, uh, RVs. Boy, it, you know, underneath that cap, you never know what's under there until we get down to the specs. So let's see here. Um, okay, we well, accelerated 2400 watts AC charging, replenished to 80% capacity in just 45 minutes. 
Holy crap, Zilla, guys. That's fast. That is really fast. That's obviously referring to the, the, the top version itself. No expanded battery packs. That would obviously take longer to do. But holy cow, I mean, that's faster than your phone sometimes. So, wow. I, I would give probably another, let's see. Uh, I would give another 20, possibly 20 to 25 minutes for full capacity, judging on those specs alone, because that last 20% always takes longer than the rest because it has to slow down the charging so the battery cells don't get over overworked or too hot or nothing like that. All right, so it says uh, AC200L sets a new standard for most competitors in the market. Get ready to power up swiftly and manage your power with confidence. All right, way to go, Blue Eddie. Look at that bad boy here. Uh, this looks like, oh, this this might be, yep, this is, this is the European version here, I believe. Look at that, I'll get that, yep, 230 outs. But, uh, wow, that's 2400 watt charging. Boy, that's a, that's some good speed there, guys. Holy cow. Um, these look like uh, these look like the 420 volt. I'm sorry, 420 watt uh, PV420 Blue Eddy panels here. That's a lot of power, guys. Look, look, look at that big old cable running. Holy crapzilla! I have a feeling those are run in either maybe series to get them up that high. By that's a lot. You know, these power stations are growing every day. Holy cow! What a great time to be in this solar stuff, guys. Um, you're, you're getting the amount of power that you can have uh, portable now is something that only people used to have on a home system back in the days or, you know, like a, a big grid tie thing. Uh, you know, to, to plop on a little box like that and pull it up to 1,200 watts. 1,200 watts is a whole array. Holy cow. Holy crapzilla. All right. Top it off in just two hours here. And that's for the solar. Uh, so, guys, you get five hours of solar day. So that means that with uh, three panels like that, that's that's a lot of money for those three panels. But I'll tell you what, in an emergency, to be able to top that bad boy up in two hours, yes, please, that would be great. Uh, no longer worry about power dying out on the road. The solar, the fast solar input now even goes faster. Wow, they really upped the game here, guys. I have a feeling that that's why the these. Uh, uh, charging cycles have dropped out a little bit because you know you're pushing these batteries pretty good pretty good all right home and outdoors got you covered as portable as it is ac200l is an amazing companion for your rp trip to keep you powered all along the road meanwhile it's so it's also powerful enough to effort effortless effortless but i can't say that one effortlessly run your appliances at home even during sudden blackouts Look at that, guys. Got the whole array going on there. Uh, looks like a 1,200-watt grill over here. That's that's probably the p most power-hungry thing they got there. But uh, if it could run all that stuff at the same time, holy crapzilla, that's a lot of stuff. They got the TV going on, the coffee pot. Here's another, uh, it looks like another coffee pot. Uh, maybe a water boiler over here. There's a laptop going on here. Here's a, a digital camera fan. And I don't know what this thing is over here, but uh, use, it's using 150 watts, whatever it is. Um, okay, let's see. You got to unlock unparalleled portability with the AC200L, an ideal companion to ensure constant power throughout your journey, keeping you connected wherever the road takes you. All right. Uh, here, more scalability, unlock more capacity. Uh, sorry, more compatibility. But I'm, I'm reading, I'm so excited I'm reading too fast here. I got to slow down. Um, but, I, but it's hard to because, you know, this is solar power. This is my new hobby, and I'm excited. Uh, new power station. I didn't even know this was coming. This is like a brand new power station out of the blue. I didn't know this until probably two hours ago when I saw the live stream. All right, it says perfectly compatible with the B210. Now, that's got to be a new battery. I haven't seen that yet, the B210. The B230 is the trusty uh, one that's been out there for a long time. It's 2,000 watt hours. The B210 is 4,300 watt hours, I'm assuming. That's uh, two two thousand watt hours each. I'm guessing because the B300s are three hundred each. So the way they have them rated here, these are probably two uh, two thousand watt hours. This is two thousand watt hours, and these are three thousand watt hours. Three thousand seventy two to be exact on these bad boys over here. So this would be two thousand one hundred fifty watt hours each one. So th these are these are new batteries. I haven't even seen them yet. Holy cow! Um, Let's see, where did I leave up here? You can elevate the capacity of the AC200L to an incredible 8,192 watt-hours. Guys, that I consider anything over 8 
kilowatt hours, 8,000 watt hours, to be a home backup system now. Now you're getting into what's known as uh, what we call the big boys on the block. Uh, and then you get in the really, really big ones, which is probably 25,000 watt hours and up. Those are those are some serious watt hours. But remember, this is portable, guys. You can have 8 kilowatts of power, and you, 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 you uh, can carry it from room to room, piece by piece, and have 8,000 watt hours of power that you can move around your house to your camping location, to your cabin, to your RV, holy crap, Zilla. Because you don't want to start moving a rack system around. That's that's some big heavy-duty stuff. And then you can plop these back together with simple cables. So not only are they easy to move, right, piece by piece, but they're very safe, too. Because when you do rack systems, guys, there's a lot of safety things that you have to do with rack systems. Because, boy, if you don't turn them off, you could really get electrocuted really bad. Um or sh you know shocked and you have a new hairdo but these these are all self-contained so all you got to do is plug them in and you know they, they they basically update themselves so you don't have that that safety hazard uh as in with a rack system this one is all self-contained so that's awesome and it says uh making the full potential of limitless power has never been easier that's what i just said that's what i just said and then it says asterisk here cable for connecting the bt uh, i'm sorry the b210 Expansion, I think that's spelled wrong. A expansion battery sold separately. Okay, so if you get this battery, this B210, which I've never seen yet, uh, you have to get a special uh, battery connector for that one. So keep that in mind, guys. If you want to pick up one of these AC200Ls, uh, AC you got to get a special cable to use these batteries here. Uh, and then I assume these use the standard old cables that uh, Blue Eddie's used for a while now. Um, all right, let's keep going here. Uh, battery life that's incredibly pro uh, so the RV trip and the camping okay we covered that here you got see ho home backup guys so well, you know as soon as you get to 8,000 watt hours and plus I consider it home backup you know the industry probably does too but I look at 8,000 watt hours and, and higher something that could power your house for an entire day the average person in the United States here in the USA uses about 10 thousand watts a day so if you had to scale back a little bit to eight thousand watts in a day you could definitely get through a day here uh, possibly two if you scale back even further and then you have 48 hours worth of power you know if, if you kind of limit yourself there to get through a bad uh, storm or uh, power outage or you know whatever is going on in the world uh, here you got off-grid lifestyle that's definitely enough power guys if you were to put this bad boy in an RV a van or a cabin 8,000 watt hours is definitely enough uh, to, to uh, kind of get you through what you need here. Um, now this looks like, uh, holy cow, this looks like, it, uh, oh, I see, okay, I had, I had to look at that for a second, guys. So this is almost like a grid tie for an RV. I thought it was a grid tie for a house, but so basically you have some uh, solar panels up here and they go into the, uh, the, the Blue Eddy kind of grid device there. And then you can power from the solar panels uh, to your uh, batteries internally of your RV or, or your van or whatever or your cabin. And then you can also hook that all together. This is the, that's kind of neat. It's like a grid tie for the go. Uh, it's all sold separately, of course. Um, when paired with the D40, now I have not seen the D40 yet. Boy, this Blue Eddy is coming out with new stuff every minute, it seems. Holy cow, it's hard to keep up with it. Um, I, I could sit here and do these these uh, first look reviews like 10 a day and I still wouldn't catch up. Uh, so there you go. You got uh, charging options for your RV batteries as well as surveillances, routers, speakers, radios at home or on the go. Uh, and that's obviously sold separately there. So that I'm assuming they're, they're talking about this little box right here, which is kind of like a charge controller that kind of gets everything going. And that way you can charge your your uh, your uh, your batteries for your RV all together in one so you got a five-year one now th this is where Blue Eddy excels over a lot of other companies guys they have a five-year warranty right now I am not a fan of warranties because uh, it, it all depends on the company quality of warranty not just you know you can give a hundred year warranty but if you're not there to honor it or accept it then the warranty doesn't matter but it's nice to see that the warranties are at least getting longer 
And the, I know the uh, Blue Eddy customer service is getting much better, much better than what it was two years ago. Uh, so that's that's a, a definitely a good direction, at least a good direction. But the, yeah, I'm always leery of warranties, guys. I always read the entire warranty to make sure that everything's covered. I'm not going to tell you who, but I found one power station company who actually has written in their warranty. Uh, this is unbelievable that the warranty covers everything in the the unit except the battery cells guys that's 90 percent of the price of a power station the battery cells are the most expensive portion of a battery uh, 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 a battery solar generator so if you don't cover the batteries holy crap zilla that warranty doesn't really cover much so always read uh the warranties in full so you fully understand i'll give you a prime example i bought a muffler for my car many many years ago and it was a lifetime warranty for the muffler and in the fine print they had a uh, lifetime warranty of the car and not the muffler so uh, long story short I had to pay for the muffler to have it fixed every year because it was made of steel and it would rust so it was just it was horrible quality but, uh, but Blue Eddy like I said they have not seemed to have any problems with their warranties uh, all the people matter of fact they they replaced a system for us once we got an e, uh, EB3A uh, that they they uh, sent over for us to review. Uh, the light burned out a lot uh, right on the on, on the live review, and with no questions asked, they replaced it. And I've heard that from many people so far. So their warranty seems to be pretty decent. But I always recommend read your warranty, guys. Smart App Control. It's the same app as uh, what they've used on all of them. I do like that uh, as far as you can have. Um, 10 you get you have like 10 different blue eddy power stations and have them all linked to the same app that is really cool because you can hot swap uh inside the app in seconds and pull up another power station and run you run 10 of them if you want so that's cool here's your ups in 20 milliseconds so that's cool that's industry standard anything under 20 is considered industry standard of what i've learned uh, I would like to see that down to 10 milliseconds but uh 20 milliseconds is sufficient enough to uh you know, work for, for w what you have in, in your equipment. Um, upgraded innovation. We've made breakthroughs on various features to take the power experience to the next level. It certainly seems so, guys. It, it seems like they, they've they really cleaned up uh, a lot. And, you know, Blue Eddy has always had a very, very decent power station. I, I always say, and this is just my opinion, I always said uh, in, in many, many times that uh, Blue Eddy has the most professional-looking power stations out there. And I have not heard much about the quality. I think the last time that I heard a quality issue was the AC2. 200p uh, and I didn't have that one but I heard that from a few of the subscribers and they said they were having some issues with the AC 200p but I haven't heard many issues as far as um, uh, the other power stations and like I said when I had the uh, a, uh, the uh, the EB3A and the light burned out they you know they hot swapped it right away now I do you know do reviews for Blue Eddy so I I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I have heard the same story from other people who have purchased something and you know a lot of times if you guys saw that video with like UPS when they threw that uh, that that uh, yeah. As a matter of fact that was the e, uh, EB3A that they tossed on my porch and they probably shorted something out or messed with you know because the, the, the guy tossed it like he was bowling like Freddie Flintstone style so I don't even I, I, I don't even fault uh, Blue Eddy for that I, I fault UPS still absolutely and, and UPS was uh, uh, Blue Eddy was nice enough to replace that for me and that very well could have been the problem of uh, UPS so okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we saw all the pictures guys we're gonna go back up here and now we're gonna look at the specs this is my favorite guys if you collect baseball cards or anything this is where the money is um, you, you could have the coolest baseball bat or jersey in the world uh, for basketball or baseball or whatever but if you don't put up the numbers it's just colors and and, and flash so here's the AC 200 L uh, so let's see the battery info is 2048 watt hours which is a 51.2 volt system at 40 amp hours that's known as a 48 volt system guys life cycles 3000 cycles to 80 percent original capacity now like I said this is a little lower than normal I, I do see a lot of ones that are 3500 plus but um, 
I don't think you'd notice a difference. And uh, as I said before, with that charging and output power, holy cow, you're really pushing the batteries good. Uh, management system, MPPT controller, of course, the BMS, which is the battery management system, etc. It's got all the safeties, uh, you know, the high temp cutoff and all that stuff in there. Uh, lithium iron phosphate, guys, that's the one you want to get. Lithium ion was good, but now we have moved on to lithium iron phosphate. It's just safer. Now, the only difference is lithium ion you can use in a much colder environment than lithium iron phosphate. Uh, a lot of them have these internal heaters now to where if you have the solar coming in, it'll turn on an internal heater like the B300S has an internal heater that actually heats up the battery cells to where you can use it in a much lower temperature rather than having uh, to you know bring it in the house or turn on the heat and everything. So that's cool. So you can leave that system like that outside. And remember, this system can use two B300. I don't know if it can use... Uh, well, was that? I think they were B300s, not the S's. The S, I believe, you need the AC500 for. Um, here's a shelf life recharge to 80% every three to six months. Guys, what I do for my systems is I fully cycle them uh, every 30 days. That's just what I do. You know, everyone has their own their own style of how they like to store stuff. I like to cycle everything every 30 days. I look at it this way: you wouldn't want to leave your car sitting in the garage for three to six months. Get out there and try to drive it every 30 days. Otherwise, now, you know, these things don't have any fluids and stuff like cars. But, you know, the gears, they, you know, they, they get kind of stuck. In a, you know, um, just imagine laying in, in bed as, as a human being for 30, uh, 30 days or, or even, uh, what is 180, 180 days or six months. You know, your, your body's going to be a little stiff. So you want to get your electronics out there and running once every 30 days, I recommend. That's, that's what we recommend here at Rambling Bar Reviews. Okay, so the output now. Here's now. This is where the the, the money is here. Okay, so you got uh, four 120 volt 20 amp outlets, guys. Pure sine wave, of course. And then you have now. This is where the good one is. 120 volt at 30 amps. This is the NEMA TT30. So what that is is that's a plug that you can hook directly into your RV, and that way you can charge. Uh, as in that picture was, it was dumping power into the internal batteries of your RV. That's always good because the AC200P did not have this, but the AC200 Max did. So that's cool. So basically, what, what this system is is they took the AC200 Max and kind of pimped it up even more. So that. Very, very good to see. Very good to see. Like I said, I didn't know about this probably two or three hours ago. Uh, power lifting mode, guys, all the way up to 3,600 watts. Now, that is a peer-resistant load only. I made the mistake of testing a power station for a Blue Eddy, and I put a heater on it to go, uh, you know, try their power lifting mode. Uh, long story short, I am only a fan of power lifting for emergencies otherwise i do not use it myself and that goes along with turbo charging too i always use normal or silent usually i use regular normal charging uh it seems to be the most balanced but the power lifting mode what happens guys is it it, it drops the voltage okay and it ups the amp so you can run a higher like a heater or a water boiler or you know something like that but i made the mistake of running a heater with a fan in it. Now, here's the problem. The fan is not a peer-resistant load. Um, I missed that. I missed that. The heater is, but the fan portion is not purely resistive load. So that made it fault. So that's that's something to think about. Uh, the surge power is 4,800 watts. Holy crap, Zilla. Guys, you're talking AC 500 like regulated power or rated power now. that From a little box like this, you're getting the power of, of a normal AC500, which is my king daddy system of all time that I dream of having, the AC500 with all six batteries. That's 18,000 watt hours. I would love to have a pair of those. Holy cow. Um, now, your USB-C ports, you got two 100-watt outputs. That's great to see, guys. I like to see multiple USB-C ports. I do not like to see only one because the world is moving towards USB-C. However, it does have two USB-A quick charge at 18 watts apiece. Now, those are good because you are always still going to have people that have older technology. You're going to have older devices that have older plugs, the USB-A. So, it's always nice to never get rid of those because you will need even if you say no you will need a USB-A 
eventually unless you carry around with you a little adapter that goes from USB-C to USB-A. Very cheap but very easy to lose as well. So your DC out, uh, outlets here is 148 volt output. Holy crap Zilla guys, that is a fantastic thing to see on a power station. A 48 volt DC output can go directly into your uh, your RV there and go right into your battery banks because a lot of our uh, RVs are 48 volts already so holy crap Zilla that's cool a 12 volt at 10 amp uh, that was 48 volt at, at, at 8 amps uh, and then you have a 12 volt at 10 amps that is great to see this one that that is a a, a, a a breath of fresh air, if you will, uh, for these little, po you know, these little power stations. Like I said, these are getting heck of powerful. Holy cow! All regulated, of course. That means that no matter where the battery is, if it's a uh, hundred percent or ten percent, it still regulates the output. It gives the same amount of power no matter where the battery uh, capacity or storage is at. It doesn't care. It gives you full power until it's dead. So th that's cool. Now your input, guys. This is where this system shines. Holy crapzilla! 2,400 watt max input. Wow. Now you got to be careful because some people don't have that much wattage in an outlet. So, you know, um, I think a, a standard house outlet is, I believe it's 15 amps, uh, a standard one, and that's 1,850 watts. And then when you have a 20, uh, a 20 amps, uh, that would be a 2,400 watts. So, uh, if, if you do pop a circuit, you know, be, be aware that 2,400 watts out of a wall, that's a heavy load, guys. That's a very heavy load. So if you're running anything else on that circuit or that outlet, you want to make sure that you, you know, you don't uh, overpower the outlet and uh, pop, uh, pop your circuit for your house. Uh, your car input. Now, this is also where the system shines again. So I like to see this part, this 24 volt from a cigarette lighter port. So a lot of big rigs have uh, 24 volt systems. Um, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, a big rig is, uh, you know, uh, like a big semi, you know, those big semi trucks that almost run you over on the freeway. Those things, a lot of those have a 24 volt system because they need that extra uh, uh power if you will that extra oomph because you know that's a big vehicle and they run big stuff so they have like diesel heaters and stuff like that installed in there and that 24 volt is great because you could double it now rather you get a hundred you know 120 max uh, watts out at 12 volt now you can get 240 right watts out at uh, 24 volt so you can definitely reach have a chance to recharge power stations faster with that 24 volt output or or you could run a diesel heater off this bad boy that is cool I, I i can't wait to be able to review a diesel heater i'm not a fan of diesel but a diesel heater yes sir i i want one of those now the max input here is 2400 watts with ac and solar guys so you get 1200 watts of solar and you get 2400 watts when you split them up now uh, i'm going to assume this because every system that they release so far now all the new ones is uh solar input priority what that means is say you have uh your 1200 watts of solar going in and obviously you can bring in up to 2400 watts through ac right away it would grab that up to 1200 watts of solar first because that's cheaper and it's free so that's cool that it has a, a priority setting I, I can guarantee that's in there because that's been on a lot of their systems for a while even their little baby systems guys the eb3a and the ac2a has solar charge priority i i like that i think that's fantastic because then you can have it hooked up as ups all the time and then when you need energy it grabs first from the solar and then fills in extra from the ac awesome 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 <coughs> excuse me um talking my head off over here so your recharge time here at ac at 2400 watts is 1.5 hours now that's going to be a full hundred percent if i could just have a quick drink of dr pepper give me one second okay um 1.5 hours so you have a 12 volt or 24 volt car outlet which is 100 watts to 200 watts which is 120 to 240 obviously um, it, it's always down a little bit because you don't you don't get exactly 10 amps out uh, you get up to 10 amps so it's 10 hours on the 12 volts uh, 
Nope, I'm sorry. It's 10 hours on the 24 volts and 20 hours on the 12 volt. Now, if if, if you're a long um, a, a long hauler, I think they're called when you drive a semi truck, and you have 10 hours. I don't know how many hours you're allowed to drive, but you know if you were driving for you know six, eight, ten hours, boy, you could fill that that bad boy right there if you had that 24 volt system. So that's cool because then you can have extra power when you actually you know pull your truck over and hopefully there's a river or lake next to where you can go out and do some fishing or something. You know, just something fun. Um, AC to solar is two hours with prime sunshine, ideal orientation, and low temperature. Low temperature is very important, guys, because solar panels, as they get hot, they produce less energy because they kind of overheat. N- not overheat in a bad way. They just, you know, kind of like if you were running as, as you're, or driving your car on the freeway. You know, your car gets hot, so it kind of slows down because on a hot day, your car is like, oh, it's so hot out here. It's so much pressure on the engine and everything. So that's, uh, th- that's the, the, the perfect situation which uh, I think low temperature is anywhere between 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees and once you get up to the 80, 90, 100 obviously you're going to start slowing down that input a little bit because uh, you know it's uh, kind of overheating if, if you will but n- not overheating in a bad way it just it, it's more of a protection thing uh, okay so you have 240 volt split phase bonding uh, nope need 240 a power source. Okay, so these are kind of questions. I thought it had it. Uh, so you don't have 240 volt. Uh, you have to get a 240 volt power uh, source. Um, pass through charging. Yes, I think that's on every one of Blue Eddy systems now. That means when you're hooked to the grid and energy is coming in, it goes directly through it and right to the appliance or the product that you're using, as opposed to going through and cycling through the batteries and wasting a cycle. So that's that's always good. Your dimensions is 16 and a half inches by 11 inches by 14.4 inches. Guys, this is a very small power station that is able to scale up to 8,000 watt hours. That's exciting. Boy, these things are just getting, it's like candy in a candy store for me. Every time I see these power stations, they're getting more and more like Superman. You know, they, 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 they find new uh, talents and, and superpowers every time that they release. Holy crap, Zilla. Storage is 14 degrees to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, guys. That is, as I was saying, the lithium iron phosphate batteries. They need a little bit warmer temperature to uh, store them. Uh, rather than lithium ion. That's why I believe DeWalt and Bosch and Milwaukee did not go to lithium iron phosphate because a lot of uh, construction people work in the cold and they need that battery power when it's cold. And lithium ion can go all the way down to negative 4 degrees. And you can still use it in negative 4 degrees. If you're out there doing construction in less than negative 4 degrees, guys, I feel sorry for you. Don't go. It's it's cold. Uh, here's your five-year warranty. Uh, learn more about your Blue Eddy warranty policy. I recommend that, guys, highly. Always read your warranties, guys. Like I said, I found that power station that doesn't warranty the battery cells. Holy cow. Like, that's 90% of the, the cost. So uh, always, always read your warranty. I'm, I'm very happy that they put this here. But always, always, always read the warranty so you know what you have before you jump. You know, but, but put your foot in, in, the, in the pool before you dive in. Um, scalability up to two B210s. I think that was um, 4,300 watt hours. So that would be a 6 kilowatt system, a 6 plus kilowatt hour system. Uh, one B230. So you only get one of those now. That, that, that's a big thing now. You get one of those, and those are 2,000, which would bring you up to a 4 kilowatt hour system. Uh, and, or b Two B two thirties. Now that would that's the way I would go, guys. All day. The more power, the better. The more capacity, the better. Uh, those are three thousand and seventy two watt hours each for each battery. Now they're kind of expensive. However, when you can put eight kilowatts on this little box, holy crap, is that's called? Uh, that that's so cool. Um, your weight is 62.4 pounds. Now, guys, this system is a little bit on the heavy side for folks if you have trouble lifting heavy stuff, uh, but there's a lot of internals in there. Uh, that's got to be a well-made system because that that's that's really heavy, guys. Uh, and then I think the B300s, I believe, are 87 pounds a piece or 78. I, I always I always forget. You know, there's so many numbers that go back and forth <coughs> that you, you know, sometimes you forget. Uh, but so, so figure 60, 60 plus pounds for the main unit, the head unit, and then uh, about 80, I'm going to say 80 average for the B300 uh, batteries, which I recommend, oh, 100%. Uh, operating temperature. Okay, so you can run it in negative 4 to 104 degrees. So maybe it's possible that they have a heater 
inside that would that would make sense for the extra weight it doesn't say it but uh, it's possible that this system has an internal heater that allows you to use it in a colder environment. Awesome, because I know that the uh, the B300S has internal heater. I know that the B300s do not, though. So that's that's something that you want to ask Bluetti. Make sure, because it's not listed here. I don't see it anywhere other than uh, certifications, which is everything. I mean, that's that's everything under the sun. You all, that's everything. Um, yeah, so that's just about all the information that they have. It's a clean-looking unit. It, it looks like an AC200 Max and an AC2A had a, not a baby, but an uncle, right? It had, had, had an uncle. Here's your 30-amp, your, your, uh, uh, 120-volt output, your four AC120s, pure sine wave, of course. Up here is your 24-volt output here. This is your power button. Uh, this is your 12-volt output. Your charging is on the side. Your extended batteries are on the side. Um, this is the nice new AC2A looking screen. I like that a lot. Uh, the buttons, guys, they updated the buttons now. I do like, like I have e, uh, EB3A and I have uh, AC2A. And the buttons I like much, 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 much better on the AC2A. They're low profile. They light up in the dark. That way you can see that they're activated. And it says DC AC. Uh, rather than just a, a little dot of light and then you you know if you don't remember where the buttons are you don't know which one is on usually DC is on the left but it is nice that they put the actual uh, light colors behind the AC or the DC or the USB and that way you can read you you can actually read which one is on so that's cool you know if you're across the room or something like that and you can see that uh, my old eyes wouldn't be able to see that but I, I do like that because uh, as I said as I get closer to the system I can see what's on just by looking at it that's cool or you could use your app you know we could sit our butts on the couch and use the app and it'll be easy cheesy I would love guys this right here if this is a real thing this Blue Eddy RV Holy crap, Zill. I, I don't know if that's a real product or not. It looks pretty small, but I would buy that. <laughs> Blue Eddie, are you making uh, built-in, um, uh, what is this called? A, um, uh, oh, boy, what, what, what do they call that thing? Um, the, the awning, the built-in awning RV, the super Blue Eddie pit mobile here. Uh, Blue Eddie, if you're making these, let me know. I, I would love to drive around town with a Blue Eddie, uh, a Blue Eddie mobile powered by AC 500 and six batteries. That would be a dream system for sure. Uh, boy, you could drive anywhere, go anywhere. Uh, this is available starting November 17th, which is tomorrow, guys. Um, but I just wanted to make this video because, like I said, I literally just found out about this system today, probably less than, oh, probably two hours ago, maybe an hour ago, on the Blue Eddy live stream I was watching. Yeah, less than an hour ago. Holy crap, Zilla. But I just wanted to bring this to attention because some people like me had no idea the system was even going to be released i didn't see any advertising for it i must have missed it but i just want to bring it to attention uh, you know if, if people are in the market for the ac 200 max i think this one is going to be a winner over the ac 200 max and we like the ac 200 max uh eight kilowatts of power eight kilowatt hours of power uh eight thousand watt hours uh but this one seems to kind of one up that one so uh, really, uh, Blue Eddy, wow, I'm tongue-tied. Great job. Uh, they're, they're, it seems like they're dropping power stations like they're making new candies and new movies. So, all right, check this out, guys. It's the Blue Eddy AC200L, uh, obviously by Blue Eddy. Uh, it's going to be out available tomorrow. And, uh, boy, if you pick one up, let me know. I'd love to hear some good information about this one. This looks like it could be a winner, guys. All right, ramble on. Be safe. If you're not a scriber, get up there. Hit that button. It's free. What do you got to lose? Nothing. You can always unscribe if you don't like it down the road. Uh, hit that like button. Let other people know that, uh, you know, we, we got some good information. We try to bring good information to the table to help other people make an educated decision. And that way, or, or just get the information out there uh, like this. I didn't even know this was out there. I mean, holy crap, Zilla. How many millions of people don't even know that this system is going to be released tomorrow? Uh, I, I was one of them. <laughs> and, and I am, quote unquote, with the solar industry, I, I guess if you want to say, because I do reviews for the stuff. But I had no idea it was even out. So, all right, guys, ramble on, be safe, and I'll see you again on Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye, guys.